Hello and welcome to this second video related to the molecular identification of nematodes by the esterase method. In this video, we will see how to make a polyacrylamide gel to analyze the samples of root node nematodes prepared beforehand. The first step will be to position the taller glass, the spacers and the shorter glass all together. All glass plates should be clean and dry. In this case, the gel spacers are permanently bounded to the taller glass. Be sure to perfectly and evenly align these three components, which will form the gel cassette sandwich. Then secure the gel cassette with the casting frame using pressure levers and position this assembly on the gasket of the casting stand and secure it. Repeat the operation for the four gels. At this step, it's really important to test the assembly with water to avoid any leak. Repeat it for the four assemblies. In the case of leaks, do the assembly again. If everything is ok, then simply remove the water and dry drips with filter paper. Then prepare your resolving gel. For this step, you will need some water, some trees buffer 1.5 molar, pH 8.8, some pure TEMED, some 10% ammonium persulfate or APS, some acrylamide solution, in this case 40% ratio 49 for 1. It also works with 30% acrylamide ratio 37.5 for 1 with an adapted volume. In a beaker with a stirrer, add 4.5 milliliter of acrylamide, 40%. Add 13.5 milliliter of water. Then add 6 milliliter of the trees buffer. Add 128 microliter of APS. and 44 microliter of TMED. At this step, the gel will start to polymerize quickly, so use a syringe to distribute the resolving gel in the four gel sandwiches. And let some space for the stacking gel, approximately one centimeter below the comb teeth. You can now add some water to overlay the monomer and smooth the gel surface.
when the polymerization is completed, you can check it with the remaining gel in the beaker. And it can take between 20 to 60 minutes. You can safely remove the water and dry the top of the resolving gel with filter paper before pouring the stacking gel. The stacking gel will contain the same components at the exception of the twist buffer, which will be set at pH 6.8 and 0.5 molar. So, in a beaker with a stirrer, add 0.8 ml of acrylamide 40% 4941 ratio. Add 6.6 .6 ml of water. Then add 1.9 ml of trees buffer, pH 6.8.5 molar. Add 70 microliter of APS. And 26 microliter of TMED. At this step, the gel will start to quickly polymerize, so use a syringe to distribute the stacking gel in the four gel sandwiches. Immediately insert the desired comb between the spacers, starting from the top of the spacer plate. Repeat the operation for the four gels. During the polymerization process, you can prepare the 1x running buffer with the 10x stock solution. As for the resolving gel, you can check the polymerization with the remaining gel in the beaker. Once the polymerization is completed, you can safely remove the combs Note that APS and TMED are crucial components for the polymerization process, so be sure to store these chemicals in right conditions. For example, the APS in solution should be stored at minus 20 degrees, and other factors like the room temperature can influence the gel polymerization as well.
remove excess of gel on the glass sides. You can now store your gel castle sandwiches in 1x running buffer at 4 degrees for a few hours before the electrophoresis. Here you can easily see the wells. Thank you for watching this video and see you for the part 3 related to the sample loading and electrophoresis.